Hello everyone. You're welcome to FICO Mathematics. And in this video, we shall be providing the solution to this problem. We have 15 minus x to the power of 3 equals x minus 5. Okay, so let's begin with this. And um, before I dive into this, I would like you to, you know, follow this up. I mean, subscribe to my channel so that you can uh, follow my other videos. Now, from here, how do we deal with this? We are going to represent what we have here with a letter. Let's say letter Y. So now we are saying that y now should be equal to 15 minus x. But if I write y here and I leave this x here, so it means that I'll have y and x in this equation. So that means I'll be looking for two unknowns, but that would be that would be wrong. So now what if I make this x the subject from here? So if I do that, I'm going to have, um, okay, I will bring this to the left so it becomes x. Then on the other side, I will have 15. This turns the negative y, right? So I am going to replace, um, I'm going to replace this x with this. But then the whole of this is going to be y. So I'll have y to the power of 3, right? Then equals here. Now this x is 15 minus y. Then there's minus 5. Now we have y to the power of 3 equals 15 minus 5 minus y. So y to the power of 3 equals 10 minus y. Now let us rearrange this. And I will write this, or I will bring this to this side. So I have y to the power of 3. This becomes plus y. Then this becomes minus 10. Nothing on the right. So we have 0 now. From here, I want to factorize this, but... It is not factorizable since nothing is common to the three of them. So I have to split what I have here. So we have y to the power of 3 plus y minus, let me open bracket. Now seeing that y is raised to the power of 3, from here I can write 8. Because 8 can be written in this form. Then we have plus 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. Now, this means we have y to the power of 3 plus y minus 8 here is 2 to the power of 3. This negative will affect this, so we have minus 2. And everything is still 0. Now, let us regroup. This will work with this, and this and this will work together. So, y now to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, I am going to deal with this and deal with this separately. a squared, a cube rather, minus um, b to the power of 3. Do you know that this is the same as a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared? Okay, so the difference of two cubes here will give us this but now our a is y and b is 2 so that means we have y minus 2 this is a factor then here now i'm going to have a squared my a squared now becomes y squared so i write y squared over here plus a b a b is going to be y times times 2 Okay, so y times 2, then plus y squared, that will be 2 squared. 
now we plus we add this to y minus 2 y minus 2 and everything equals 0 y minus 2 is a factor then on the other side we have y squared plus 2y plus 4 then plus we have y minus 2 equals 0 now what do I do y minus 2 is common to this 2 so y minus 2 is here and it's there now here we're going to have y squared plus 2y plus 4 then plus this divided by this will give 1 then everything equals 0 so y minus 2 is a factor then here we have y squared plus 2y plus 4 plus 5 is 4 plus 1 is 5 then everything is equal to 0 so it is either what we have here is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0 so if y minus 2 is equal to 0 it means that y is equal to 0 plus 2 and that is 2 now let's hold this and continue to this quadratic expression if we equate this to 0 it becomes a quadratic equation so let's go there okay so from here now we have a quadratic equation and we'll use this formula to deal with it plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a now y will be in place of minus b we write minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 5 then we divide all of this by 2 you know 2 times 1 is the same 2 so now y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus we have 4 minus 20 divided by 2 now y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 16 divided by 2 to find the square root of negative 16 it will not be easy so we need to pick this out so y now will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 times square root of negative 1 as we divide by 2 now our y will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 then square root of negative 1 is i as we divide by 2 2 can go there and the same 2 will go there so y now is equal to minus 1 plus no this is plus or minus so this means that 1 will be positive which will be 2 i or minus 1 minus 2 i so this is 2 in 1 but mind you we we're not looking for um y we're looking for x but remember when we say that our x is equal to 15 minus minus y so now remember the value we got one of the values of y to be 2 so that means that x will be equal to 15 minus 2 and that will be equal to 13 we have y um, x to be 13 now x again will be equal to 15 minus open bracket this time we have minus 1 plus 2i for x so to go ahead with this we have x to be equal to 15 plus 1 plus 2i or negative 2i because this negative will turn this to negative this is negative now our x will now be 15 this plus this is 16 so we have 16 minus 2i okay so here we have one solution here we have another solution then the other solution will be x equals 15 minus x is now my is minus 1 minus 2i so our x will now be 
15 plus 1 plus 2i because the negative will turn everything around so we have x now to be equal to 15 by the way that will be 16 15 plus 1 is 16 then plus 2i so here again we have another solution so these are the three solutions to the equation but remember that it is only the first solution that is the real solution